Oh my god! <laughs> Where did you put that in there? Uh, we found some clothes for Axeman in that bunker. I want that backpack. Give me your backpack. You're gonna take his. <laughs> it's, it's his backpack! I don't give a shit! It's my backpack now! I want it! I'm the one with the gun! He's got an axe. I don't care. Axeman is always ready for action. Well, uh... <laughs> While we were down there, we also found a note! A note? Oh yeah, it was this one. The note's just kind of hovering. It was attached to a spear, but I grabbed the spear! Courier, we need to talk. Bring your... friend To! I'll be waiting here. A map of the canyon is drawn after this with a red X at a specific point. See! Okay! X marks the spot, let's go visit! Why was Sex Afraid of Seven? Uh, because Seven was a serial sex offender? Cause, no, Seven, Eight, Nine. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, uh, why did Seven eat Nine in to begin with? It's a pun, Mike. <laughs> it's a pun on how numbers go. Yeah. Good lord. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Ah, bridge crossing. Excellent. Yup, that's a bridge. Ooh, that looks a little rickety. I don't know. Rickety my ass! Look at me go! No, oh, you're tempting fate. If you fall through those gaps in the floorboards, you're dead. There is no way I could possibly fall through these gaps. I'm too fat. Oh, fair enough. Ha ha! Oh, what the hell? I guess this is the owner of the note. Um, hmm. Is this him? Are you the owner of the note, sir? The man is clearly dead and appears to have been for some time. I'm no doctor, but I think the fact that he's blinking and moving tells me he ain't dead. Postmortem spasms and also the wind. Uh, no, he's been dead for some time, Mike, according to you. There's also larva inside of him making him move. Uh-huh. No, see, I crippled his head. He's fine. No, 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 he's dead. He's definitely dead. I well, now he is, now that I shot him with a shotgun twice. No, he was dead a couple weeks ago. We just took him down. Are you sure? No. All right, well, let's just dispose of the body. There's a there's a bunch of graves right here. You could put them alongside yep. those. All right, all right. All right. Why would I do that? Who crucified this man anyway? Oh, Bush's grave. Heinz. Stan. Wayne. Bob. And Billy. Mm, a lot of dead folks here. Nothing. 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 Ooh. <laughs> we'll leave 20 NCR dollars. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. And we'll leave 5 NCR dollars. This is Axeman's old gang. These, oh! These are the road porters. Let's check if there's anybody in here. Oh, there is someone in here. Hello, courier. I assume you being here means you got my note? I guess. Who are you? Straight to the point. I like that. The name I go by now is Cincinnatus, though I'm sure your friend would know me by a different one. Would he? If his brains weren't too fried to remember me, that is. He's pretty insane. If you want to talk to us, why didn't you talk to us? Why'd you leave a note? Also, follow-up question, were you a member of the Roadfuckers? I was what you'd call a probationary member of the Roadfuckers for about seven or eight months, about two years ago. How, do, <laughs> how does one fuck a road? How does one get on probation for a gang for seven months? Two years ago, that's when the road farts disappeared, right? Yes, it is. Come on, Courier, put two and two together. I have some pretty high hopes for you, and you're not exactly living up to them right now. Zach, you're feeling live up to his expectations. Yes, yeah, sorry, I don't know who you are. I'm the reason his old companions aren't around anymore. Back when I was with the Legion, I infiltrated and dismantled the road fuckers. Well, that explains the person being crucified. So why'd you contact us then? What do you want? I want your help. Axel apparently thought it was a good idea to not only leave his gang's extremely dangerous weaponry sitting around in a bunker right near a well-traveled merchant route, he also left detailed notes on the weapons and their owners. And now there's a problem. Problem is we don't have those weapons. Where are the weapons? A group of raiders came through here not too long ago. Quite a few of them from the east. 
probably think they can head to Vegas, fill the vacuum left by the fiends, the vipers, the scorpions, and the cons, now that the NCRs just about wiped them all out. Yep, they're all anyway, gone. Anyway, this group stopped by here and tried to convince me to let them use my pump and take all my food. That went about as well as you'd expect a fight between some punk raiders and a former elite legionary to go. After they'd gathered up their limbs and limped off, I noticed that one of the dead raiders had this on him. Uh, what the hell is this thing? It's a grenade. Specifically, it's one of Heinz homemade bean grenades. <laughs> what? The note with it in Axel's handwriting even tells you how to make more. Ooh, an endless supply of food grenades. Hooray, why is this a problem? What do you mean, why is that a problem? Well, Axeman left those weapons there because he wanted someone to find them. And then someone found them. Sadly, it wasn't us. Trust me, kid. These aren't the kind of people Axel would have wanted finding those weapons. They're raiders. The road pencils were raiders? Seems fine to me. Who the fuck told you we were raiders? The road fuckers were a mercenary group. Probably the best in the whole damn Mojave. It's why the Legion wanted them gone. It's hard to imagine from a group that small, but the road fuckers were able to single-handedly protect one of the most important trade routes through the desert, the Long 15. That's a very important supply line, yeah. But that can't be true, though. I met a merchant who told me that the road nachos had bounties with the NCR. <laughs> oh, we all had bounties, all right. But they weren't really from the NCR. You see, all mercenaries who accompany official NCR traders and merchants have to be hired from the Crimson Caravan Company. The bastards have a monopoly on the caravan security business. They're a massive economic and political presence in the hub, so their word is both figuratively and literally law. Billy operated without their permission or consent, so they put a bounty out on him. They also spread lies saying that the payments bartered to him were actually stolen. Do you still have a bounty? I'm guessing the merchant you talked to is that crazy old war vet who comes through here now. He only came to the Mojave from California about a month before the road fuckers were dissolved, and he never had a route on the Long 15. Okay. So it doesn't really surprise me that he'd buy into the bullshit Crimson Caravan said about us. So you're not bad people? I, I feel like you specifically, if nothing else, are a bad person. He definitely is. Anyway, I'm not sure I believe you. Where's some proof? You want proof? Sure, no problem. The head of the Vegas branch of the Crimson Caravan is a woman named McLafferty. She dead now. I'm pretty sure if you looked up bureaucrat in the dictionary, her picture would be next to it. Also next to the word deceased. I guarantee you that she's kept every single piece of paper that's ever crossed her desk. I'll mark her house on your pit boy. Break in, rifle through her files, and I'm sure you'll find proof that the road fuckers aren't raiders. Are you expecting us to go all the way back to New Vegas and find proof in this dead woman's house? Uh, are we supposed to assume that her house hasn't been resold? Also, how am I even supposed to get it? I, I'm actually really good at picking locks, <laughs> so that kind of answers that question. You break in, dumbass. You know what? I'll do it for you. Show me that pit boy again and I'll mark the location where you can meet one of the frumentari I'm still in contact with. He'll give you a key, and then you can just walk right the fuck in like you own the place. Oh yeah, let's just collaborate with the Legion. <laughs> no, that's a great idea. Why are you living out here in the boonies, anyway? In the sticks? And also, your bed sucks. I I got a wolf hat over there in the corner. I'm a big dumb, <laughs> and I don't know what deodorant is, so I just rub rocks on my armpits. <laughs> that explains the smell. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. What's this bean grenade? Hey. You dropped something. Ah! <laughs> He's unfazed. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't care, and I just used my only bean grenade. He's built up an immunity to beans. Damn it! <laughs> he built up an immunity by eating tons of beans. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the less likely you are to get exploded by a random passerby. <laughs> it doesn't really rhyme, but I mean, whatever. What, are, what do you require to make those bean grenades, anyway? 50 grains of pistol powder. 50 grains? Just a little pistol powder, then, huh? Yeah, some pistol powder. All right. <laughs> we finally have a use for pistol powder. I never knew their real names. The names they used were taken from two fairly common brands of pre-war canned beans. That's quite a long note. Yeah, this is a pretty long one. 
Talos McLafferty's <sighs> residence. Yeah. Look at this man. Gonna blow him up with a bean grenade. Yep. Oh, wait. No, this is the guy we gotta talk to. Oh, that's the Frumentari contact. Yeah, play guitar now, sucker. <laughs> is there something I can help you with, sir? Ugh. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Are you the guy Cincinnatus wants me to meet? Shh. Not so loud, you idiot. Right, right. Oh, right. We're in NCR territory, and you're undercover as a Legion member. I forgot. I'm sorry. The NCR? <laughs> Those morons wouldn't even know what Frumentaris, even if one did kick them in the nuts. So if you're not afraid of the NCR, why the hell do I need to be quiet then? Because if another spy hears us talking about Mr. C, I'll be in big trouble. You see, there's a kill on site order for him, and for anyone found helping him. Damn, we should have killed him on site. So he's really not with the Legion anymore. No, he went AWOL almost two years ago, right after he was involved in some big undercover operation out in the desert. The Kaiser branded him a traitor, and had half of the men who even served under him crucified as example. Jeez, cool. Right. I was lucky enough to be part of the other half. All right. Wow, Caesar doesn't mess around. I wish he crucified more of his own men. He should crucify all of his own men. Yeah, that'll teach him a lesson. Yeah, boy, that sure would show me <laughs> who's boss. Now, if you have my payment, we can get this exchange over and done with and both go on our merry ways. Wait, what kind of payment? Our mutual friend promised me two cartons of cigarettes and a thousand caps if I could lift a copy of Mick Lafferty's key for you. You're not getting the key until I get my payments. How about you just wait here for a while? Fine, but make it quick. Ain't nobody got time for this. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you acquire my payment? Give me the key or I'm turning you into the NCR. Look, there's no need for that. You can have the damn key. And I could be back on my way to the camp and away from your precious NCR. Looks like he's a scared after all. Take that, Mr. Frumentari! Mr. Frumentari standing right here. You want to do something about this, dude? dude no, uh, don't care. I'm on launch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That grenade's not very good. <laughs> And now it's time for a little B and E. Oh, I guess her house is over this way? I don't know. Why does she live in the Crimson Caravan compound? <laughs> oh, maybe maybe she has the house, but it's just like a formality. She spends more time at work than the house. Maybe she's so rich she had a second home over here. Just she visits on summers. It's always summer here. <laughs> or maybe she spends more time dead than she spends here. For tax purposes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. 500 caps. Wow, this is the only memo in here. What a coincidence. That's the one we needed. The, okay, so it's an internal memo regarding the mercenary group operating along the Long 15. They don't have permission to operate in the area. They're not affiliated with Crimson Caravan. Any payment to said group is it written off as plunder. Any employee found to, accept, to have accepted assistance from them is to be terminated and served with a non-disclosure order regarding the incident. Bounty offices for all known members are supplied east of the hub, blah, blah, blah. I really, it's, again, what lawyer is going to be like, yes, I'm going to serve this non-disclosure charge? Uh, well, there are lots of bureaucrats in the NCR. Just, <sighs> California is a lot more like pre-war than you might think. What are we doing anyway? We're going back to talk to Cincinnatus. Don't tell him that we killed his contact. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, did you find any proof at McLafferty's place? Found a memo that says the road oranges weren't raiders. Told you. Now will you help me? Sure, I guess. Why do you care about the weapons anyway? I just do. So are you going to help me or not? Yes, I said I was going to. Yes, let's pretend to help him. For the time being. Right into your grave for what you did to that- No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what should we do first? I may not be with the Legion anymore, but I still have some influence with its spy network. The group that came through here splintered once they reached Vegas. It seems like each of the splinter cells is being led by someone using one of the roadfucker's old weapons. 
So for every person we kill... So that's pretty convenient, I guess. Here's where one of the groups is. I don't know which weapon they have, but whichever one it is, get it back from them and bring it back here. By the time you do that, I should have gotten info on the next one. All right. So bounty hunting. <laughs> I'm down for that. Wait a minute. Why should I bring the weapons back to you after what you've done? You're not bringing them to me. You're bringing them to them. What? Oh, I'm bringing it to the dead people. Oh, we're going to bury put... it with them? That sounds stupid. What if I want it? And also, what's going to stop somebody from grave robbing them? Whatever, we'll play along for now. I'm glad. Now get out there and try to keep Axel from hurting himself if you can. <laughs> He's uh, That's yeah. easier said than done, my friend. <laughs> oh, I must say the sunset is quite pretty. It is pretty nice. It's also fairly serene. Not a lot of commotion out here. This is a lovely area. Indeed. It's nice and quiet and peaceful. Not too hot, but not too cold. Clang, 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 clang. Rag, rag. You have defied Kaisar for the last time. Your life ends now. <laughs> you can't have a smoke break. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know the Union smoke break was over. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Holy shit! Retribution! <laughs> Just... Oh, that'll teach you to be lazy. Oh, God. I'm glad the NCR is patrolling the area, keeping the area clear of legionaries, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Salutations, everybody. Greetings! <laughs> That it's... Hello? That's some sweet armor, I gotta say. I think she's threatening you, Zack. Calm down, calm down. I don't want any trouble. Oh, she's menacing. <laughs> hey, this guy with us is one of the real road farters. His name is Axeman. He's not gonna look too kindly upon you macking his style. <laughs> hey, they were mercenaries, not raiders like you. You don't deserve those weapons. Give us the rake and no one has to die! Hooray! <laughs> That's what I thought. Also... Hey, buddy. Oh, what? I was about to murder them. What? Uh, what the fuck are we doing? What do you mean? We're getting your weapons back. X-Man knows that. But who is that hobo that told us where to go? He seems familiar. Oh, don't worry about it, man. He's just somebody that wants to help. But who is he? X-Man knows he knows him. Now we have to make a decision here. Mm, he's a friend. Let's leave it at that. If you say so. But X-Man is sure he'll remember who that hobo is. X-Man. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Uh, I like your helmet, and I like your poncho. Ooh, and I like your helmet. Dang, yeah. These people all have cool stuff. Uh, time to die, Reggie! Hello. Okay, looks like it's time for an onslaught. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Got some distance on that one. Box helmet! Wait, where is it? No! Ah, oh, it's surgically grafted to her no, face. No, <laughs> the box helmet! <laughs> My gas mask and poncho! I am Poncho Man. Poncho Man! Poncho Man! Wearing a poncho, doing poncho things, it's Poncho Man! Poncho Man! The poncho makes him inflammable! Yes, that's what does it. Uh, so about that weapon we picked up, the sideshow. Do you so, want to use it? It's Bob's Rake. Sideshow. <laughs> oh, Sideshow Bob! <laughs> yeah. Alright! That is definitely a rake. Why are you holding it with your wrists? That's how you hold rakes, right? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, you act like you've never raked before. I've used a rake plenty of times, and I never used one like that. Oh, you must not have been doing it very well then. All right, let's just go back and tell him that we found the rake and then buried it. Just put the rake away while <laughs> while we say that we buried it. Sure. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're back. Which weapon did you find? Bob's rake. Some lady named Reggie had it. The rake, huh? Well, it's something, I guess. Was hoping you'd find one of the more dangerous weapons first. 
Not that that rake isn't dangerous. Whoa, don't underestimate the rake. But it's the kind of weapon that requires a lot of training and finesse to do real <laughs> damage with. You Bush's sure launcher or Billy's fist can be deadly even in the hands of an idiot. Are the road penises weapons really that powerful? Well, it's not like you could take over Vegas with them or anything, but you could fuck over a small town no problem if you use them correctly. With the wrists. I guess I see why you don't want the raiders to have them. Glad you've finally seen the light. Speaking of raiders, one of my contacts gave me some information on the group we're after. Don't know what they originally called themselves, but after finding the weapons in Axel's notes, they started using the name Road Legacy Fuckers. <laughs> Alright! Sons of bitches stole our name. Anyway, there's another group that set up base in some old gas station by a merchant route. They're led by some guy named Nikolai. If he's the one I think he is, he's the reason they got away from me here. Be careful, and good luck. We have to get five more weapons. We have the axe and we have the rake. There's five more left for us to take. There's things over there. Um, uh, we don't have to get involved in that axe man, all right? Axe man, we didn't have to, okay, never mind. All right, wipe my tongue. Okay. <laughs> axe man knows what he's doing and yeah. now he's moonwalking. Yeah, Why? he's just styling on him. <laughs> Time to infiltrate another gang hideout. Just another day in the lives of Zack and Mike bounty hunters. We should get business cards. You think? What would your business card say? Well, it, it would be a joint business card, right? It'd be I guess. Zack and Mike. Or would it be Mike and Zack? Do I? I don't need top billing. Is Zack and Mike more marketable? I think so. It's the, possible. The Z at the beginning, I think, grabs attention. Yeah, but then that does also mean that we're at the very end of the phone book. Oh, that's true. But who uses phone books anymore? Also true. And, on the plus side, because it's at the end of the phone book, you know right where to look. Also, if we're at the end of the phone book, no one will contact us, and we can be as lazy as we want. Oh man, that's a great idea! Do these guys have AKs? I would like one. Hold it right there, comrade. Why did you call us comrade, friend? It means friend in Russian. Oh, I was aware of this. That's technically, it means friend in any language. What is it you want, anyway? Uh, we're looking for the weapons that your group took. From a bunker out in the desert. And why, pray tell, are you looking for them? Uh, we're collecting them to put in a museum. Is there any way you'd give yours up? Not giving up anything. But if you can prove you deserve it, I'll happily let you take the weapon. How can we prove that we deserve it without outright murdering you? My top enforcer, Mr. Fister, is the current owner of the shotgun fist I took from that bunker. You can beat them in single combat, you earn the right to walk out to camp with the weapon. If he beats you, well, I don't think you'll be walking anywhere, anywhere, ever, ever, ever again. I accept your conditions, and so does Zack by proxy. I we'll do? fight Fister for the weapon. Ah, oh, crap. Great, now to make this fair, both of you, what combat style will you choose? Why don't we send Axemen in there? We'll choose axes at dawn. Uh, let's settle this with our fists. Uh, sure, why not? I mean, he is the champion boxer, so, you know. No, that's what I wanted to hear. Hooray, fist. Okay, the rules are kill each other. That's it. Good luck. I like these rules. Simple and easy to follow. Oh, oh, no. Look out. Look out. This is a problem. <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, be damned. He killed Fister. He killed the fuck out of them. Yeah, he's super dead. So, will you give us the weapons now? Yeah, about that, you see... I really like this power fist. So get him! Oh, you've tricked us! Ow, ow, ow! God, jeez! <laughs> okay! Oh, Axeman has decided to join their group. <laughs> I'm glad that as soon as I die, he's like, Axeman is done fighting for this man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that... <laughs> there we go. Now give me that gun! The chest breacher. <laughs> oh, I can't take his gun? Boo! You're not giving that punch explosion gun to that hobo. Axeman won't let you. <laughs> oh, I think his memory's coming back. <laughs> Why not? I think his name is Jeff. Okay, it's true. He's Jeff. You knew. Why did you not tell Axeman? You ask a lot of questions. I thought not telling you was the better choice. I didn't want to cause you any more pain. Axeman appreciates your sentiments, sentiments, but
but that hobo is a bad man. And if you don't tell me who the bad guys are, then I can't help protect you from them. I know he's a bad man, Axe Man, but we need his help. Yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry I got mad, buddy. It's fine, Axe Man. We can't stay mad at you. We can be mad at this Russian guy with no shirt, though. Yeah, I can't take his hat or his gun. God, make his wrist come off. There. Now nobody can have the gun because apparently I destroyed it somehow. <laughs> May I take a look at that fist weapon? Of course! Oh, that's not what I meant! <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> you fell right into that. Oh, here, I have another look. I did a backflip. Did you see that one, X-Man? I don't like how you treat your friends. 